Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we will be going over two hidden ways to unlock your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now, if you are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you don't miss future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top to check out the Galaxy Note 9 playlist to see everything that has been uploaded so far. To start off this video, we will be heading over into the different lock screen types to see the common ways to unlock the Galaxy Note 9. Then we'll check out those two hidden ways that Samsung has not told you about. So pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon, and you'll go down to where it says lock screen. Now underneath here on the very top, you will see the different lock screen types and which ones you have activated, which right now I am using at this moment, the pin, intelligence scan, as well as fingerprints. Now, if you tap on the very top, you do have to type in your credentials to make any type of changes. Once inside, you will see all the different ways you're able to unlock your phone, which is the swipe, pattern, pin, password, as well as none. And then down here is your biometrics, which is the intelligence scan, which is using face and iris at the same time to figure out which one is best to use in that situation. So example, if it is extremely dark or you're at the movie theater, maybe you're in your bedroom, the light is off, it will use the iris. And if you're outside or in a room that is bright, it will be using your face. And I also have my fingerprints registered as well. But the ones I want to show you is ones that are not inside this con common area. Now, one thing to note for a little bit later on in uh, this video, make sure that you take a look at how many different ways you're able to do it on the very top. You have one, two, three, four, and five. Soon you will see a sixth one that will be unlocked. Now we're gonna head over to the first hidden way to unlock the Galaxy Note 9, but first I want you to take a mental note. Look at how many different ways you are able to unlock your phone with different types of lock screen types other than the biometrics. So you're looking at the very top. You have one, two, three, four, and five different ways to unlock the phone. So in a second, we will be unlocking the sixth way to unlock it for the lock screen type. So go back a couple different pages. You're gonna scroll down to where it says the accessibility. Underneath accessibility, you will be heading over into direction lock. Now this one's actually pretty fun. Um, the reason why it's underneath the accessibility is because you can have sound, you can also have visual things, and you can have feedback when you're unlocking your phone, and you can unlock your phone without even looking at it. And again, if you do have a lock screen type, this is where you type in your credentials to make the change. Now this is where you're able to create a series of directions. So with this one, I'm gonna go up, up, down, down, left, right. And I'm gonna go to continue, type it in again, up, up, down, down, left, right. Now, once you hit on confirm, now what you're gonna be using for your lock screen types, it actually replaced my pin option, and now I have the direction lock, intelligence scan, and my fingerprints. Now, underneath the direction lock, you are able to change a couple different settings. So I do have the vibration feedback on, so it lets me know um, if I did put in a direction. Now, I wouldn't really suggest doing the sound because there's different sound um, for the up and the down, uh, and you really don't need to have the sound. Plus, people are able to pick up how many directions you are putting into your phone. Also, I would not suggest doing these show directions because if anybody looks at your phone, they know if you went up or down or whatever the case, and especially don't do the read aloud. But if you do have any type of accessibility where you do need to have help unlocking your phone, and if it does help you having everything read out to you or shown to you, or if you need a sound to go with it, definitely turn it on. Now, it's because of these options over here that makes it kind of a low security. But in my eyes, if I put it as a vibration, uh, I am not looking at my device. So I can unlock my phone behind my back. I can unlock it right next to my leg. And I feel like nobody's really gonna pick up what I'm doing with my device. So let me show you that we did unlock it. So let's head back to that lock screen. You can see up here, it says direction lock, intelligent scan, as well as fingerprints. Let's again type in our credentials, which it's not pin. This time it is the direction lock, which is up, up, down, down, left, right and then you just hit on confirm. Now this is where you can see that sixth one. So here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now this is where you do have this one turned on. Uh, and again, this is the way that you're able to unlock your phone, either with intelligence scan, I also have my fingerprints to do it, or I can do it with my finger. And again, I like this one because you don't have to look at the phone. Now again, as it says low security, that is because this one has the ability to read it out loud, so it's not really gonna be that secure if people are around you 
to hear it. But if you have trouble looking at your phone and you want to make sure you're doing it right, you are able to turn it on. Now, if you do want to get rid of the direction lock and you don't want it to show up on this option here, you do need to change your pin or pattern or password first. So let's go back into pin and I'm gonna put in a pin. Once I've placed in my pin, the direction lock will still show on that screen lock type. So all you'd have to do is go back to that last page, head back to accessibility. This is where you go down to that direction lock and then you turn this one off. Now this one will not show into that screen again if you were to go back into the lock screen types. Now I do wanna let you guys know that if you do get yourself locked out of your phone, maybe you put in a direction lock and somehow you forgot it, make sure that you have a Samsung account on your phone and you also have Find My Mobile that is turned on. So this way, if you do need to try to unlock your device, you're able to go to Find My Mobile and you have the remote controls that you're able to unlock your device if you don't know what that passcode was. It's not only to find your mobile, it's also to remotely get access into your phone by putting in your Samsung account into the computer or tablet, logging in, and that right there is credentials enough because this is your email and password that you use for your account. The second hidden way to unlock the Galaxy Note 9 that Samsung doesn't really talk about is by using your S Pen. So if you head over into your settings, you're going to go down to where it says the advanced features. And inside of advanced features, you have the option for S Pen. And inside of here, you have the option for the S Pen unlock. Now, originally by default, this one is turned off. Now you are able to unlock it with the S Pen remote as long as your S Pen is connected to your phone via Bluetooth and it's as if you were just using the S Pen and then the screen timed out. So what I mean by that is let's say that you're using the S Pen or maybe your son or daughter is using the S Pen, maybe they go to the bathroom, maybe you go to the kitchen, you're getting food, and then the screen times out. So as of right now, you do have to use a lock screen type to get into your phone, unless if your S Pen was already out. You just hit the S Pen button once and it will get it unlocked itself. Now the reason why it's able to unlock is it's because you still, the, the phone still thinks you're using the device. If you still have the S Pen in your hand uh, and you walked away and if this thing dimmed out, more than likely this phone still thinks you're around it. Now if you leave your phone and S Pen down and you walk away and someone else comes over and they hit that S Pen button, then yes, they will be able to get into your phone. But more than likely, if you still have the S Pen out, you're right around your phone, you're within the vicinity, um, you are probably just going to be about 10 seconds away from using the device. Now let's say that your S Pen is in the phone, you're not using it at this moment in time, the screen dims out, times out, or you hit the power button. If your phone is locked and it has the S Pen inside of it, you are not able to unlock your phone by hitting that button. So as I said from before, it's already as if you are using the S Pen, you only walked away from your phone for maybe a second, um, and then once you hit on the button, it comes right back on. So that is one of the reasons why I still think it's pretty secure. It's definitely not a high security. There's no buttons, there's no password with it, but if you have the pen, more than likely you are around your Galaxy Note 9. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button. You can hit that little red circle right over here on the very bottom left-hand side. Share Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. Also write a comment below the video which one of these two hidden ways is your favorite. And outside of that, I'll see you guys later.